Hi, my name is Eric and I'm your microscopy specialist. Few days ago, I came across this beautiful image of the $100 bill on the internet and I thought it will be pretty fun to check all of the security features on my SEM, so stay tuned for that. I don't have commercial sponsors, so cutting up a $100 bill and coating it with a gold isn't really an option for me. Instead, I put the whole bill in the microscope. I'll use a low current to minimize sample charging. Let's start by looking at the texture of the paper. Honestly, nothing too exciting here, it's just regular paper. I can tell you that there is no sign of any laser or inkjet printing, just clean fibers. To give you a comparison, here's some regular printer paper with toner. Now let's move on the special raised printing. Run your finger along Franklin's shoulder and it will feel bumpy. And yeah, this part really does look quite 3D. I'm tilting the stage at about a 50 degree angle to get a more pronounced view of the relief. The 50 microns aperture helps create a good depth of field image. The print looks super interesting overall. Let's check a few fields. Just for comparison, here's the same image from a regular microscope. Now let's take a look at the color shifting bell that imposed on a copper inkwell. In a light microscope, if we remove the polarizing filter, we can clearly see the shiny particles embedded in it. But in an electron microscope with a low accelerating voltage, those particles are invisible, and there's a reason for this. When we use a low accelerating voltage, the interaction volume is really small, so we only see the surface structure of the ink and not the embedded particles. But if we increase the voltage to 20 kV and use two detectors, secondary electron and backscattered electron detector, the particles become clearly visible. Now onto the main event. Let's talk about the micro lenses, but before that, a quick announcement. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription will be the best help. Here we talk about microscopy and sometimes I put some special things inside my scanning electron microscope, so subscribe and stay tuned for that. Alright, we're here for the good stuff. This is the lenticular array. This purple strip you see is a bunch of tiny special lenses that bend the light. It's made of plastic with charges up easily, so I'll be keeping the current on the lowest side to avoid any issues. Of course, I'll be using a graphic editor to colorize the image since electron microscopes only give black and white images. And let's take a look at the edge. This should be a nice image. I hope this was interesting. By the way, if you've never seen what a camera with zero megapixels looks like, check out this video. See you later.